For the last 20, 30 years, you've heard growers come up with different things. I'm biological, I'm ecological, I'm low spray. Uh, they're all labels. And what really counts here is, does the fruit taste really good? Is it healthy for me, healthy for my kids? And the term that I like to use in describing this is not organic, because that has its own limits. Um, but it's holistic, and that means looking at the health of the whole system. Growing holistic fruit involves a number of steps that you, you have to kind of fine tune to your site, because different insects, different diseases are gonna show up in different places. And it, it's very interesting getting into explaining about the different herbs of how some of those can be used. Uh, but on my trees, I make a nettle tea, I make a comfrey tea, I make horsetail tea. I do it at a certain point in the year when the plants are filled with certain levels of constituents, particularly silica. Silica is something that boosts the cuticle defense. That's the covering on the surface of the leaf and the fruit, uh, the non-waxy covering. And when that's stronger, disease again can't quite penetrate. And where am I getting that from? From my land, from the plants that grow here, from the plants that are here as a gift. And I just needed to wake up and recognize what they could do for me. I also have a really strong goal that I want to bring out the full flavors of the fruit. And when tree fruit are grown in a living soil system, a whole different thing takes place in terms of what the wallop, the nutritional wallop that packs into that peach or into that apple, than it does when you put out chemical nitrate fertilization, which causes the fruit to get bigger, pumps it up, so to speak, but it's essentially empty, it's hollow. Um, and interestingly, nitrate fertilization causes the tree to be more susceptible to disease. So the whole thing where we've focused on yields and we've worked on uh, economic efficiency, which has basically driven most farmers to desperation and out of the business, um, that's a philosophy. And this other philosophy of, I want to work with the system, I want to increase the health of the soil, the connection of the fungi, all the things that can take place to maximize that tree's ability to stand up in its environment so that I can produce, in turn, nutrient-dense fruit for my family and my community. That's another philosophy, and that's where I'm on. When people bite into one of my apples, my hopes of what they're going to experience is not just all that great flavor, but a recognition of not just the work, not just my work, but the work of the bumblebee and the work of the mycorrhizal fungi, and just kindling that fascination of how this is done, how this all comes together. So for those who are just pure apple eaters and want to enjoy a good piece of, of fruit, that's great. But I'm also quite interested in getting people thinking, I could grow an apple tree, not just one, three apple trees. Let's start there. Uh, and Michael is starting to help me see how that can be done in a way that doesn't involve going out there and spraying toxins, in a way that makes sense for my land, my family, my community. And so this orchard here is, is my passion, that's my individual path, but hopefully also an inspiration for a lot more people to start to get on a similar path.